Hello everyone, Ultimate Driven GT back after a long time of over a month. Today's video will be about a mail I received from Mexico. Yes, quite far away from India. And here is the package. Uh, for obvious reasons, I'm not showing the front because it mentions the address of uh, the sender and mine. So this was only the top part then came more solid packaging within plastic and further cardboard casing I was almost like uh, tired and scared after going on and on and on with the unpacking and finally I have the Beyblade which is a very rare one to be honest and that is none other than Dragoon MF secret orange version from I don't know which random booster it is it is probably random booster 5 or 4 but yeah this is one hell of a rare Beyblade and yes this is Takara Tomy this is no fake it comes the sender decided to give me a nice case for this one as well because the dragoon mf and those random boosters never used to come with the case so with that said i will open the box and start with all the parts one by one just wait and let me take these out fast uh, anyway yeah so I put the case on the side and here is the attack ring all mint condition no scratch whatsoever this attack ring is called upper dragon because of the upper slopes that are in the metal part of the attack ring bright orange in color with yellow accent stickers then you have the secret rare CWD that was very like secret rare CWD as in not released with many Beyblades it was only released with this orange uh, variant of Dragoon MF and the black variant of uh, Dragoon MF and I must say this is a really good CWD for 4 smash attacks uh, although you have to use it on a taller RC core and yes it's a non free spinning uh, CWD it's fixed in position with the help of this notches standard wood chip mentions Dragoon and uh, this is another prized part of this Beyblade this is the RC core this is called the grip weight core because it has rubber tip and it also has metal weight inside uh, that was the standard issue RC core for the MF series of Dragoon uh, I must say this information is a good one the rubber on Dragoon MF it is comparatively harder and uh, more uh, what can I say more wear resistance compared to the ones on Dragoon MS and Dragoon MSUV uh, those rubber tips wear out pretty fast and the grip is so high that instead of traction it stalls the Beyblade but this one is not that much soft it gives good grip and good grip to be not cured and still have traction on the bay and guess what it also has metal weight inside so it provides a mild amount of stability as well so with that said I use this launcher to assemble this bay there goes the RC there goes the bay disc CWD I place the CWD ring and then I place the attack ring and finally I 
place the bit chip and with the twist from the launcher this beyblade is now finally assembled i'm so happy to receive this beyblade i always wanted to own a dragoon mf in my uh, time as a beyblade fan i still am it's not getting over any time soon oh wow this looks really compact and really good so why not go for a test spin although i am very much against using uh, hms beyblades for battle or even for spin because god knows when the beyblade jumps out of the stadium and the tip gets damaged but i will still try for the sake of this video 3 to 1 go oh, shoot so as you can see the beyblade has fair amount of speed and no stalling none of the stalling problems as seen in dragoon ms and ms uv and it looks damn sure beautiful while spinning so with that said i conclude my mailbox and packaging i hope you enjoyed this video mention in the comment section about your thoughts on dragoon mf uh, how many of you have got to experience this badass beyblade in your life or if you have not would you want one for yourself ultimate raven gt signing off thanks a lot